It's Grand Tour season, which means that it is bus tour season on GCN. Let's take a look at Giant Alperson's pretty much brand new, it's only one year old team bus. Follow me. First impressions is that it is incredibly spacious up here. And the seats look really comfy, so comfy that I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's very good in fact, very good in fact. So each rider will have their own seat that they'll occupy throughout a Grand Tour. So sometimes you have to sit next to someone, sometimes you don't. We have got nine seats, just enough. Well, not just enough, exactly enough for the number of riders that go on a race like the Giro or the Tour. Just up at head level here, we've got some essential supplies. So you can see, got water, really important to stay hydrated. It's actually unseasonably warm right now. It's about low 20s when you'd expect it to be kind of mid-teens. And also the riders have got their helmets here. These are their non-aero helmets. So the helmets that they're gonna use on a slightly hotter day or maybe in the mountains when they're going at a bit of a slower speed. So aerodynamics is of kind of slightly less importance. So just behind the main seating area, where the riders are going to travel from day to day on the race. We've got these two sofa things and these are going to be used for the team's pre-race kind of planning and you know who's doing what job today. It's actually it's pretty secretive back here because all the windows behind the windshield are tinted so you know it's real. No one can see and no one can see exactly what we're planning for today's race. It's pretty cool. Moving back from the seating area we have the mini kitchen and much like the rest of the bus, this is minimalist yet incredibly practical. There's nothing you don't need, but there is everything you need. You've got the little Nespresso coffee machine, got a kettle hiding back there, fruit, but this is the fridge. This is where the riders kind of favorite snacks hide out. And I think this is always quite cool to see. I've no idea how you open the other side. I'm sure you can open the other side. We've got Aquarius, that's like more of a, it's very Dutch and Belgian drink, you don't see it outside of them. Giant Alpsen are of course a Dutch based team, so that's why I have them. Fanta, you just got the little fizzy kind of sodas that, yeah, taste pretty good after a long day in the saddle. Got some yogurt, fruit and veg, cheese. Yeah, just a few nice kind of relatively healthy snacks, but more importantly, things that people actually like to eat. We've seen the double shower, we've seen the single shower. I'd like to present to you Cycling team bus, treble shower, no jokes. Three showers, all in one block. And, you know, of course they were gonna have this in the showers, of course, there's no samplers though. So it looks particularly busy back here and that is because we are just one day before the 2016 Giro d'Italia. So these are the riders' wet bags. Each of them have two wet bags, so we've got Tom D1, Tom D2, there's Chad Hager's first wet bag, I can't see his second one. And the reason they have two wet bags is that behind the race, there are gonna be two team cars, and one team car one or team car two may go to the break, depending who's there from the team. So if it's raining and team car one's up the road, you need to go back to team car two to get you and potentially your teammates raincoats. So that's why they have so much kit. It's really important to stay warm when it's wet outside. And yeah. They've got them all here, they've got them all here so that they're sorted before the race and then they just live in the team cars. We also have their giant aero helmets. So you can see these have far fewer vents than the slightly less aero helmets up at the front. Right, so underneath the bench here, there are just loads of random supplies basically, but I've picked out a couple of highlights. We've got the team's custom little mud flaps for behind the saddles and custom towels, giant Alpacin team towels. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our look around Giant Alperson's pretty much brand new team bus. It's just one year old. I think it's very cool. There's something about it being really minimalistic, not having anything extra on board. But yeah, really, really practical. And we're going to end it with a typical Dutch scene. I'm at a bike race in Holland on a Dutch cycling team's bus with wind turbines in the background. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit share too. And if you'd like to see the rest of our videos from the 2016 Giro d'Italia, just click right there. To see our team bus tour playlist, plenty more videos like this, click down there. To subscribe to GCN, click on the globe. And to visit our shop, click down there.